What's up guys, Austin Nerd Show here. Today we're unboxing the Geek Fuel for this month. So again, there's no themes or anything, so I don't know what to expect at all from this month. So I have to be excited to see what we get. Oh, okay, so first off, so I've not went through this before, I think, but we have a little thing here talking about their new box. So starting next month, we're going to be getting the Geek Fuel, what, EX, or EX, yeah, EXP. And so it's going to be a much larger box, and it's going to have a lot more, or more expensive items, better items and stuff, but it's a more expensive box as well, and it's only going to be every three months, I think, because I think it's a quarterly box. I, yeah, every quarter. So we'll get four times, four years, so every three months is what we're looking at, which looks that we're not going to be getting it every month because this is one of our favorite boxes. But um, hopefully we'll see what it looked like, you know, what it's like and stuff, and hopefully it'll keep up the quality, and like I said, them increasing stuff in it will hopefully be a lot better. Um, to start off, of course, we'll look at the end, but we have our uh, Geek Fuel magazine here with Pug Nord, or Pug Nado, if I could say right. A tornado with pugs in it, like Sharknado. So we'll look at that book at the very end. Uh, so first up here, we have our pin pals for the month, and this is kind of cool. It's, our thing's kind of bent, but that doesn't matter. But it is from Alien, and we have a fa or one of the face huggers in the egg. I don't know. It looks kind of okay. I think it's just supposed to be the egg opening, and then some of the legs from the face hugger uh, coming out of it. And it says it's an ovomorph. I did not know that's what they call. It. I just knew them as face huggers. But it shows back here, so you could have got a Ripley the Ovamore for this that we got, a f um, face hugger on somebody, it can't tell if it's a guy or girl, a Xenomorph, which would have been really cool, and then they have the chest burster, which would have been awesome as well, so there are all the different characters there we could have got, which I'm fine, I would have wanted the Xenomorph or um, this egg one, and so it's cool that we got the egg, so I really like that a lot. And next up here, it looks like we have a NECA Scalers, and we've got a Rocksteady from TMNT. And so um, that's cool. We've, I've had at least one of these before. I don't know what it was, though, but I know I got something. But I won't be opening it because it's this really weird packaging that's super hard to open, and all I have is this knife, and I don't want to cut myself. But we did get Rocksteady the Rhino there, so they got the villain, so that's kind of cool. And next up, we've got a box of some sort, so let's see what's inside of it. Oh, a big box for hardly anything. Um, so we've got another Star Wars keychain. So we've gotten a couple of these from boxes before. Um, I don't really like them because I don't have room on the keychain or anything. But we got the Millennium Falcon, which looks really cool. So that I may just keep and hold on to it um, compared to the other ones we've gotten, like Han Solo's gun and some weird, uh, the Rebels logo and stuff in the past. So that's kind of cool. And so then we come to our shirt here, and so it just is a box with all sorts of like space or galaxy looking stuff on it. So I would probably assume maybe something with um, Infinity War. Not exactly sure, but let's see what it is. And I probably have the shirt upside down or sideways. Here it is. So there's what the shirt is, and it does look like Infinity War. So we do have a Thanos face there in the background with the Infinity Gauntlet there. You can't uh, really see any of the um, Infinity Stones or anything. There's no color, anything to add to it. It just looks like the plain gauntlet. But I really like that shirt, and I hope this fits because I really want a, a Infinity War shirt. And our last item out of the box is our Steam game, and it is Cloud Base Prime. And so there is the game there again. I don't know what it is. Never play any of these games. But I think it's cool that they throw them in. Maybe someday I will play them. So that's it for the items of the box. So we'll go ahead and look at our paper here. So of course there is the Avengers Infinity War shirt that we got there on the front. Then of course we have the Alien Pin Pals where we got the Ovamore for the face hugger coming out of the egg. There we've got the TMNT Scalers which you could have got one of six. So one of the four turtles or Bebop or Rocksteady. And we of course got Rocksteady there. Then out of the keychain, there was one of three you could have gotten. You could have got the Millennium Falcon like we did, a Star Destroyer, or a Pokeball, which the Pokeball would have been kind of cool to get. And then we have our Steam game, of course, the Cloud Base Prime there for that. So that's all the items. So let's just kind of look through the book here real quick. Oh, we got uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. I doubt that's anything real, obviously. Some Space Odyssey stuff, Pugnado. Then, of course, we have our Alien Pin Pals there. Um, the Cloud Base Prime, our game. Then, of course, the, my favorite thing, the items that look really cool. I love looking through this and all the different, like, geeky and nerdy items that you can get. And then, of course, pictures at the end of all the people opening their boxes. And so that's it for the Geek Fuel this month. And like I said, starting next month, we will be getting the Geek Fuel EX Prime. I believe it starts next month, and then we'll have to wait three months and then get the next one. Um, so it's going to be hard to wait for, but I hope they've increased a lot of stuff. Like I said, this box wasn't, like, the best box with all the best items, but it's not bad. It's not just a bunch of crap or anything. 
anything like that. But that's going to be it for this unboxing. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings. And we'll see you next time.